Dear Grace, my goodness, where do I even begin? Getting to know you over the last three years has been a highlight within my school counseling career. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> when I first met you as your brand new school counselor, I remember how kind and welcoming you were. I'm gonna cry, I miss her so much. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough. You did not have to be as helpful as you were, and the fact that you naturally wanted to assist will remain unforgettable. I am quite sad to see you go, as there will be no intern next year, and that is because there is no one like Grace. Millie Racking with you will always be cherished. Based off your responses to the discussion we had in adulting, I'm never going to worry about you transitioning into your next chapter as a young adult. You are wise beyond your years. Like I have told all my other former students, I'm not just your high school counselor, I'm one of your counselors in life. Congratulations, Grace. I'm so, I am always so incredibly proud of your accomplishments and proud of the person you are. With gratitude, Autumn Washington. I'm so sad. I miss her so much. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Happy graduation. I'm so sorry that we aren't able to all have a big, ginormous celebration for you this year. And we all know you deserve that. You deserve the best because you have brought so much to Westgate and to our community and to all the kids you've worked with and to me especially. Uh, when I went into education, you know, there's, um, there's always these dreams of sort of connecting with students and, and creating these visions and the peer mentor program and working with you has been kind of one of those dreams. And you know, going into education, it's for moments like these. And, uh, you've left such an imprint on me. You've had such an impact on me as, as a professional and as a person. And I'm so grateful for who you are. I'm grateful for the passion that you bring to life, the passion that you've breathed into the peer mentor program and all the kids you've worked with, um, your commitment, your absolute compassion. You're such a kind person who really has strong values and you follow them. You take what you believe in and you go after it. And your values are based really in like, sharing goodness with the world and the people that you're around and I can't say it enough thank you for uh, just for the impact you've had on me and the peer mentor program and Westgate and all of those around you you've made such a difference Grace you wrote me an autobiographical essay in your junior year that brought me to tears so what you're thinking you cry in class for every occasion Mr. Stir. true true so more accurately, your writing moved me to tears. It was beautiful, as are you. It's exactly that kind of sensitivity and insight and honesty that gives me hope every day. Given the challenges that we all face as you leave childhood and enter your young adulthood, it's hope that we need to nurture and protect. You will. I've always known you will. You're strong and resilient beyond measure. Many times I saw you in the pod being carried by a friend, but far more often, you were carrying others. That's a superpower that we all aspire to. I do. You always asked the question that everybody else wanted to know, and were willing to confidently adult with the adults. You have such a bearing that I often found myself going directly to you when I needed advice on an issue with the class of 2020 or with the high school in general, because I trusted you then, and I trust you now. You are intellectually and morally grounded be well beyond your years. You know what is right, and when then to act righteously. The world will need more Grace Wigand in the coming years. I'm sorry I, there won't be a formal graduation for you to bring me to tears one last time, but I'll always be content with the memory of having you in my classes. Anything more than that would be selfish. So thank you, Grace, and congratulations.